Starter. Charmander. Charmander, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you hold still for just a second, I'll... Oh, there we are. Okay, so... Just click on your deck to draw. Yep. Got that. Okay. Click the card and you just put it on whichever circle you want. Okay. And I'm gonna just, I'll tell you what, just for the whole re game feel, I'm gonna go ahead and just lock my start. Oh, I can't lock my starter. Oh, well, never mind. I wanted to do the whole stand up, za, vanguard, you know, yeah. all that stuff. I wanted to, I couldn't figure out, like, how do you move a unit back once it's on the vanguard circle? What you do is you hold the control button and then left click it, and then it will show you all the cards in your soul. Okay. Yeah, that got me the first time, too. There we go. Shuffle deck a bunch. Drop Boy, this is a terrible... You can't see my hand, right? I cannot. Okay, cool. It's like I'm lying and I can see everything. <laughs> no! You see what... You see what Messiah units I'm playing. Why can't I shuffle? Oh, because you were shuffling. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's a thing? Yeah, I couldn't shuffle my deck if I wanted to because you were shuffling. Um, let's see. What's your skill again? My phone is yelling at me for some reason. Dang it, Pinterest, this is a bad time. Okay, yeah, we're just going to send you to the deck. We're going to shuffle that up and draw a new card. Boy, this hey. is hilarious. My starting hand was so bad, like, I had three triggers and stuff, and now it's actually a pretty decent hand, now that I've uh, shuffled and redrawn. Let's see what you're playing. Oh, you're playing Link Joker today. It's one of it's my one favorite clans. I recently started playing around with uh, Chaos Breaker, and I am in love with it now. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's see. I think everything's good. Just gotta double check. <laughs> now, I, I see you're going with a Messiah build. I might be. Yeah, I'm just guessing by your starter. I notice it locks one of your own rear guards, and uh, that's something that I see more in Messiahs. Yeah. Okay, um, how do we decide who goes first? Okay, so... Uh, how about this? Heads or tails? Ah, you go first. Okay. okay. I draw. Charge and draw. Oh, wait. Wrong game. <laughs> okay, I so... Think that's buddy fight, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so... Should we intro the video? Yeah, that might be a good thing. I, I've it's... only been recording ten minutes, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm sure we can cut that stuff out, so... Oh, yeah, easy. Okay, I'll, I'll pass it on over to you. Okay, three, two, ah, one. Hey everyone, I'm Silver, and today guys, I'm playing some card fight with... Black Moon Dragon! So, as you guys know, we've been chatting lately and trying to work out a collab, and we figured playing just regular card fight was the best way to do it. And I hope all my audio is going well. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have the first turn, because I called heads, and these this is my starting hand. It's uh, Pure Power. Uh, Morikawa grade threes. There's only a grade one, a grade two in the entire deck. Everything else is grade threes. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this fight if that's the case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I draw. Um, and I really can't do anything on my first turn. So. Uh, who who does right? We'll just ride, and I think my unit in the soul has four runner. Yes, it does. So we're going to move that to there and end turn. Okay. Uh, uh, if you look on... Oh, there, you, you found it. Okay, yeah. awesome. Okay. So, in case you haven't noticed, I'm playing the most OP clan in the game right here. 
Oracle Think Tank. Exactly. And mine doesn't have um mine doesn't have Forerunner, so I'm just going to battle Uh no guard. Okay. Trigger the attack doesn't hit because mine has a weaker power, so Okay, so I guess I don't have to, have to take damage. Yeah. So I was counting on a trigger there. So I'm still learning the controls of this game. It's uh very different from what I'm used to playing. Let's see, we're going to Yeah. Being that you're my only unit, I can ride right now. We'll ride. Disorder Starvator Iron. That's a pretty good card. And it is. I I use it in my Link Joker deck. Um, if you ever have controls with the uh, control problems, let me know and I'll I'll help you out. Will do. So I'm gonna awesome. call and send it to Soul. Okay. Now this thing Hold gets on. plus three K. I have no idea how to increase that. Uh, middle click your unit. And then just type in the value you want to add. Not 300, 3k. <clears throat> there you go. And that was during the main phase, so... Now we'll enter the battle phase, and we shall attack your vanguard. No guard. Okay, and if I just click the top card, it should reveal, right? If you right-click, right it'll click, do the... Okay, uh, uh... Starberry or Chaos Bringer? So okay, no so... No trigger. I take one damage. Okay, and I end turn. Okay, sweet. So is this a witch deck, or...? Uh, it's something that you've probably never seen before. It's just a mix of all sorts of stuff. How do I unturn your card from red? Just click on it again. Okay. There you go. There we go. I'm learning, guys. <laughs> well, you're used to Tabletop Simulator, right? Yes, I've been playing around with that as well, and it's just better in my opinion. It looks cleaner. I'm sure it does. Well, because I don't think it tells you if I start searching my deck right now, does it? Uh, like if I was. To I open think up it my does deck. actually. I think my shuffle. I think that your deck highlights when you're searching. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out later. Okay. Let's see. Do I really? Oh, by the way, um, you oh. still have your power boost on your Vanguard. There we go. Okay. Wait. Just, there you go. I'm learning. You know what? I don't normally like doing this, but I'm going to risk it. Um, let's see. Lozenge Magus boost. Add an extra 3,000 for her skill. Um, and another 3,000 because I have 4 plus in hand. Yep. Uh, no guard. It's like I crit you, right? Heal trigger. <laughs> I recover one damage. So, and all power to van. So, how does this work? Do I just click right the top click. card? Yeah, right, right click. click the top. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so... Oh no, that card was slightly important to my setup. Slightly important? <laughs> slightly important. It was the only one. <laughs> okay, you know, I hate it when I'm, like, grade locked at grade 2, and then my damage check reveals the grade 3 I needed to ride. Oh, oh by the way, enter. Well. I just realized there's a unit in this deck that kept... Because I didn't know how to add it. Ah, my turn? Your turn. Stand in... Stand out and draw. <laughs> oh, and I just forgot. Lozenge Magus goes back to deck. Yep, yeah, that's okay. So. Yeah, I can just hear the comment section screaming right now. <laughs> yep, I I it's can like, hear it too. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Don't you know you're supposed to shuffle your lozenge megas back into your deck? Actually, my comment section is pretty nice to me. I don't I don't think I've ever had a flame comment on my channel. I think I've had one or two, but that's just because P 
people just don't like me some days. <laughs> I think the worst, like, comment-wise that I've ever had on my channel were spams and scams. Uh, I think that's that's the biggest extent that I've had when it comes to bad comments. Chaos, Ride Starvader, Chaos Breaker Dragon. <clears throat> okay. I love Chaos. I really want to build a deck around this. This is my personal build, and I actually want to build one, but it's so expensive. I know, right? Main I mean... I call nothing. I mean, the strides by themselves are like 20 bucks a piece. That is true. I no guard. Uh, first check reveals no trigger. Second check reveals a critical trigger. All effects to Vanguard. Okay, so... Damage check. Circle Magus. Nothing goes on. Stand trigger. Dang it. I wanted that in my hand. I'll end turn. But are you excited for this uh, weekend's uh, episode? Oh, yes. Uh, I cannot tell you how much. Okay, so I just stood and draw. <coughs> Rido. Scarlet uh, Witch. Yeah, the real MVP here. I actually have a deck built around Scarlet Witch and Witch Build for uh, Oracle Think Tank. Awesome. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of Magus, but I found this build online, and it was so it was so weird. I had to do it. <laughs> anyway, I use Little Witch Lulu skill to call her from the soul since I have a grade three now. Also. By soul blasting two units, I can I think it's draw a card. Yep. And thanks to Scarlet Witch Coco skill, I can counter blast two. Yep. And I can draw two cards now. Oh no, you have a lot of cards in hand. Well, that's the point of this deck. My my point. The point is just to overwhelm you here. So, oh, I'm since very you... familiar. <laughs> I'm going to discard CEO Amaterasu. Just that should give you the idea of the randomness of this deck here. <laughs> and I'm going to... No, I don't want that one. I want Rain Element Madu as it's my first stride. Since my... Since my heart has a power less than... I'm sorry. I get so tongue-tied. That's okay. Since it has 10k or less, I get to add a grade 3 unit from my drop zone back to my hand, so... Infinite striding. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Uh, one see. day, maybe. I really don't like having your Chaos Breaker out, so... I'm just going to boost with Lulu and attack with Rain. Uh, I'm gonna no guard. It's like I triple crit you right here. I would, I'd cry first. Uh, I actually have a recording set up. Oh, oh crit. Damn crit, it. by the way. Yep, I saw that. And Silent Tom. Okay. Yeah. So, first check, no trigger. Second check, heal trigger. Power. And... I will heal one. Awesome. I, I have a recording, you know, where this guy, third I haven't posted it yet, but he posts oh, like, oh, were you supposed to add that to your hand? Yeah, that was supposed to be my draw. Oh. Ah! Controls. Okay, yeah, it's because it was my, or it was still counted as my turn, that's why. Oh, I thought I had three damage for a second. I don't know why. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It happens to all of us. Okay. So you were saying? I was saying that this guy like put up a 46k shield, and the only way I was going to um, uh, get through it was to triple trigger him, and guess what happened next? What'd you do? I triple critted him. Nice. At five damage. Yeah, sorry for rambling on there. I just wanted to get that off my chest. 
It's all good. I'm kind of weird that way. Either I t- either I talk too much or I don't talk enough. I I cannot find that perfect balance. That's all good. I talk a lot myself. So, yeah, so I'm going to drop Chaos Bringer from hand to stride. What do you think about the new um the new G Guardian for Link Jokers that's coming out in the Fighters collection? Uh what's it do? I actually haven't seen it. Let me pull that up for you right now. I stride with a um G Guard. <coughs> actually, I need to figure out what's a good first stride. For my for my build, I I always go into Chaos Universe first. That that's just that's just my personal preference. I always go Chaos Universe, Chaos Universe, Big Crunch Dragon, Big Crunch Dragon, and then if my opponent's still alive after the fourth stride, Snow Element Bliza. So stride, Chaos Universe, because I am running Chaos Universe. Cause okay. That'd be silly not to run it. Yeah, that, that's like you're out to to those decks that don't call rear guards too much. It's like, oh, if you won't buy, in, if you won't give me anything to lock, I'll just make you lock something from your hand. Exactly. Let me see if I can find that card for you. Uh, Fighters Collection 2017. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so found it. Okay. Darkness. I'm sorry. Demise lit by darkness. Lacus Karina. It does. Generation break one. Counter blast and choose a face down G guardian from your G zone. Turn it face up. When this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to three of your rear guards. Lock them. Your opponent chooses a unit in his or her back row for each card that was locked and locks it. That's actually not bad. Yeah. I mean, to a degree it's not bad, but I, I've run into the problem with a lot of Link Jokers. A lot of rear guard seals for your deck is just like lock back row. Oh. Yeah, well, in all fairness, it does kind of shaft over certain clans. I oh, mean, yeah. I mean, and think about it. This actually kind of hurts Pale Moon because uh, one of the biggest advantages Pale Moon have over Link Joker is that um, is that all of their rear guards go back to the soul, so you can't do anything to them. However, this locks them while they're still out, so that might be an answer to that strategy there. That is true. I'm going to call to the rear guard circle. Disorder, Starvader, Iron. Okay. Uh, skill. Lock your uh, rear guard. Lulu, no! Get out of here, Lulu. Um, I'll activate Chaos skill. How do I Persona flip a uh, copy? Uh, you, you, go, you click on your ex- open extra deck. Yep. And then you just right-click the card you want to Persona Blast. Okay. Okay, so, there we go. I, I call her... Oh, yeah, it's Persona Blast. Who am I kidding? I used to call it Persona Flip back when no one had a name for it. Or... Cool. You. So which circle do you want to lock up? We're going to lock your... Uh, your um, the, the same right across from Disorder. Right across from Disorder. The front row. <coughs> okay. Um, so gonna... it begins. Then I'll call... Dark Chameleon out. Actually, I don't want him there. I want him there. I'll activate my little spawn of... Whatever. Nebula. Nebula. Yep. I am. Ha- I'm still waking up here. <laughs> it's okay. I I just woke up when I got your Skype message, so it's cool. 
Um, I send this to Sol. I choose one of my rear guards. I lock it. I have no idea how to lock a rear guard. Uh, you hold control and then you left click it. So I lock my dark metal chameleon and I send this to Sol. There we go. <laughs> and then what's your skill it's like, it's like you're running your own deck hmm what yeah. does this card do well because I'm <laughs> used to using physical cards <laughs> well you know it's kind of funny back when I was still into Yu-Gi-Oh I had a fight on dueling network where um, my opponent I, I was running um, Earthbound Immortals, and I summoned the lizard guy. I forget which one he... I know which one you're talking about. Kokorayu, I believe it's called. Yeah. And my opponent in the chat says, stop reading. And I said, me too. <laughs> this, is a, this is a card with a lot of text. Yeah, I forgot what it does, but it, it can help me. So, my rear guard is going to... Boost. Oh wait, I need to enter battle phase. Yeah. There we go. And attack. Uh. Oh yes. Activate power effect. Hey, that's cool. It asked me if I want to do that. Yeah, that's another thing I like about card fight area for all its flaws. Eighteen thousand to your vanguard. <laughs> nice try. I know what I know what iron does. Nothing at this moment, wait. but still, I don't. I'm sorry, it wasn't iron I'm trying to stop, it's bolt line. Okay, yeah. Bolt line. Aw, oh, darn. Yeah, nice He's... try. You saw right through me. Okay, then I guess I'll attack your vanguard again. Okay, and... Peach. Perfect god -o. Yeah, so now if I get more of this guy, I can start countercharging. Okay, so first check. It's a perfect Nothing. card. I actually kind of want you to go through your triggers, you know, just so I won't have to worry about them later. And third check is a stand trigger. All effects. Oh, why did he lose power from standing? Uh, he lost. He lost the boost from bolt line. He'll still get your. Um... Okay, I didn't mean to stand bolt line, but. Okay, I'll just pretend that that didn't happen. Uh, yes, attack. I. Uh... Technically has 7k, doesn't he? Yep. Whatever. Yeah, I'll just I'll I'll take that since it isn't boosted by bolt line this time around. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I end turn at the end of turn. I unlock, and that means I get to unflip a damage. Sweet. And you're supposed to be resting. Oh. Okay. And ride. Why did I say ride? Stand and draw, and I drew a card that kind of helps me. Except I'm in a really, really weird sitch here. Okay. Most OP play in the game here. I ride CEO Amaterasu. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> I have a feeling that your audience, like, the ones that are familiar with Vanguard, have no idea what I'm going for. Probably Stride. Not. I don't nearly do enough Vanguard content. It's okay, we all have to start somewhere, right? Right. I want to do a lot of box openings, but I'm super poor. Yeah, I hear you. I've only done, like, one, I want to say one or two openings on the channel. Let's see... So, Lord of Guidance, Wakahirume, I love those names. Um, okay, so I'm going to pay the cost first, and Counter Blast, Soul Blast. Persona Blast. And then, all I have to do is draw a card. Choose a card from 
my hand and put it on the top of my deck. Nothing. Yeah. Predict the future. Nothing mischievous going on right here. Oh, I should build my Fenrir deck in this. People hate that thing. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah. It yeah, this this card is pretty good because it um it lets you uh do all sorts of shenanigans here with with stacking your deck and stuff. Exactly. I mean, I run uh the stand trigger that allows you to shuffle all your drop zone back into your deck so people hate it. I'll just <laughs> mill through my deck into the soul and soul blast that means, darn, I have two cards left. End turn. Oh, oh my gosh. Cards. Every card back to deck. <laughs> Thought I burned through all my heal triggers? Nope. <clears throat> okay, okay, you ready for this? Yep. Okay, boost with lozenge. Lozenge skill. An extra 3,000. Mocha skill. An extra 3,000. Attack your van. Uh, no guard? And what's okay. it? Right click again, right? Uh, yes, right click. Uh, no trigger? Darn it. Ah, uh, Photon. That card's kind of pricey. Too. Well, there's another one that's cheaper than that print there, but still it's pricier yeah. than you'd like it to be. Definitely. And it's a trial deck card, nonetheless. Um, I know. Why? Why should a trial deck card be so expensive? Uh, one second. I just want to check a couple things. Okay. Remember, this is an Oracle Think Tank deck. I know. I wonder. You know, I must say, for the matchup that it is, I'm surprised at how even the damage has been thus far. Yeah. I mean, look at what I'm running. I'm running Battle Sister Mocha, Scarlet Witch Coco, CEO Amaterasu, and we're tied at damage here. I, I just... I, I want to take the damage just so I have Limit Break. But... But you're afraid of what I may or may have not stacked? Yeah. I'll drop a Chaos Bringer. And... Okay. Let's see. Triple a drive. First check. That. Stand trigger. That's why I wanted a stand in my hand. So, yeah. Second check. Nothing. Come on. Critical trigger. Nothing. Okay. Okay. And then Mocha. Power up of 3,000. Uh, I gotta no guard that one. Okay. You, you really want to get your limit break off there, don't you? Yes, because now once I, once you start unlocking things, I can start uh, soul blasting units and retiring them. <coughs> okay. I'm just gonna return Lozenge Magus to the deck, shuffle, and end my turn. Okay, so you unlock. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, so... Soul Blast. What is it? I think... Uh, yeah, Soul Blast 1 during your opponent's end phase when uh, one unit's unlocked. Uh, you may pay the cost. If I do retire that unit and I draw a card, so... Okay. Roll all. I'm Hold on just one second. Hey, Dad, we're recording. <clears throat> Sorry, my dad just got home and I wanted to... Give them a heads up that we're recording. Yep. So okay. I soul blast one, two. Retire the two cards that you just unlocked. Wait, hold on, just a second here. Um, it says that for your soul blast, the units you soul blast must be starvated. Okay. That's right. Sorry about that. That's okay. It happens. Um, put that's that why back I like soul. Put that back to soul. <laughs> so let's see. In my soul. Nope, oh, that's my drop zone still. Um, control alt. Do I actually have? I have a singular unit in my soul that would start there. So. Yay, that means you can only retire one. Control alt. Which one will it be? I'm going to retire your back row unit. Okay. And that means I get to draw one card. Sweet. 
Do you see that card at all? No. No, I didn't see it. When you, if you just do a normal draw, okay. I can't see what's in your hand. Okay, so I stand and draw. Oh, okay, okay, let's do this thing. Darn. Oh well, we will drop Chaos Breaker Dragon to stride. Oh, wrong card. Wrong thing. I don't see any fill shuffle left. Uh, and we will stride into Chaos Universe. Okay. Next, we will uh... I wonder, what are you going to make me drop and wear? Uh, start off with um, Chaos Universe's skill and Persona Flip of him. Is it one card? Yeah. First, you get to choose <laughs> one of my back row circles and. Your center back row circle. Okay. Lock. Um, and then. Since you have two or more face up, I believe you also get to lock yep. one. Uh, lock your... It's a tough call. Mocha or Susano? Uh, lock Mocha. And I like my lock cards in the vertical position, so... That's okay. Um, just reading effects because I'm still getting the hang of this deck. <laughs> So you're, you're new to Link Joker? Not new, but it's the first time I'm actually getting to play my Chaos or build. Ah, I see. Okay, I'm going to call to the front row. Starvator, Cold Breath Dragon, skill, uh, counterblast one. And you get to... Uh, your opponent chooses one of his rearguard circles and puts the top card of his or her deck down locked on it. <clears throat> okay. And then... Oh, that's a pretty good card. Uh, just for... And then we'll just call um, Shockwave Starvader. <coughs> okay. So I can lock another unit when it unlocks. Okay, battle I phase, see. Battle phase. So I'm going to support and attack your Vanguard for 22. Huh. 22. <laughs> Do I really want to take that? Probably. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, heal trigger. And you couldn't heal at the time. Oh, I couldn't? Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, so... Dang it. Support. Dang it, Lozenge Magus, why couldn't you come through? Vanguard attacks your Vanguard. Perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to let that hit. <laughs> you get to, um... Counter Blast. Counter charge up. Okay, so what is it? Right click, right? Yeah, right click. First check is a critical trigger, all effects. Second check, no trigger. Third check, critical trigger, all effects. Dang it. Boosted. My Vanguard attacks. Gets 2k to your Vanguard. Okay, let's see. 25. 35. Okay. Uh, and since neither... Uh, yep, since neither attack hits, I... end turn. I destride. I really would have liked to have kept <coughs> Psychic Birds, but I did not want to... <laughs> you did not want to risk pulling that heal trigger. Yeah, I, I only have... Okay, stando and draw. The only problem I have with Arena is I don't know how to put Cray Elementals in my deck. 
Oh, um, while you're building your deck, just um, click on the thing that says Cray Elemental, and uh, it'll show you the okay. Cray Elementals. Okay, so, let's see. Stride. <coughs> I have a nice and powerful hand. Uh, no. Waka Hirume. Skill. Persona Flip. Counter Blast. And. Oh. Well, never mind then. What? I do not have a soul to uh, do the cost, so I'm just going to undo everything. That I just did. Oh yeah, that's the only downside to this deck. <coughs> Build is there's no soul. Maybe when we do my video, um, we can switch decks and I'll show you how I run Chaos Breaker. Because I do have solutions to the soul problem. Oh, that's why I run the stand trigger. Is because uh, Counter Blast 1 sack to soul. My only problem is counter charging. I have a solution to that too. <clears throat> I'll I'll show you when when we do when we do uh, the other video. Yay! Fun time. I get to use my other deck. Okay. I strided by accident, but in a tournament setting that would have to stay, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. Okay, first attack is with Waka Hirumi. Being, I don't like my odds in this game. I'm so gonna... you're going to perfect guard it, aren't you? Nope, I don't have a perfect guard. So I'm going to generation guard. Okay, let's see your power here. Uh, let's see. Starve your pixie powder! I love that card. <laughs> so, I'm going to call that. I'm going to walk... walk Dark Chameleon. Okay. Um, it gets 5k. So let's see, that's a 20k shield, so 31. So it's 2 to pass right now. 2 to pass right now. I, I don't right know now. how it doesn't show power. Well, and I mean, technically what you could do is just add power to your Vanguard if you wanted a visual. Oh, yeah. Well, just so people see, so... Oh, that's wrong. Uh, it's 20k. Yeah, but I like how we just—I like how that just now occurred to us, like this late in the game. And, huh? I'll play another 5k shield. Okay. So. That'll put it at 36. And that's not gonna massively. Yep. Nope. Okay. So 36. Three uh, to pass. Three to pass. So, here we go. Well, nope. we already know where this is going. Heal trigger, you and I, I do get to heal this time. Okay, one more. And another heal trigger. But I don't get to heal this time. Nope. Oh well, at least I get, at least I get a, a massive uh, power there. And I believe your guy goes back down to 11k, right? Yep. Ah. Good, because that would make... That would be so overpowered, wouldn't it? That it would. Since my Vanguard's name is still treated as Amaterasu, I get the 3k. Yep. And I attack for 22. And I'm going to take that hit. Okay. Damage check. Perfect card. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, darn chicken. Trying to keep it PG. Trying, failing, but okay. So at the That's end of my turn, end, so I believe I unlock, right? Yep, unlock. So to and start off, going to activate a bunch of skills. <coughs> well, before you do that, <clears throat> oh. Do you get to activate your skills? No, oh, no, because this these are interrupt skills. So yeah, yeah, that's counter kinda... blast one. Send Star Vader to the soul, and I lock your center back row unit. Oh, and my voice today. 
And now, because I have a Starvader in my soul, I get to Soul Blast 1 Starvader. Okay, and sweet. And retire your back row grade 1. The Actually, retire, meant... your, retire your Mocha. Okay. She's annoying. Well, I have another really, really annoying unit in my hand, so... And I got to draw one. <coughs> my turn? Yep, your turn. Because, uh, no skill. So stand and draw. Stand and draw. Being that there's only 21 cards left in my deck. So, I'm going to start off by activating... Actually, I'm going to start my turn off by dropping a grade 1 and my photon to strike. Yeah, you had to draw, you had to discard two cards. That's okay. I know, but still, it makes me happy. That's the sadistic it. side of me there speaking. Kind of last one. So, I wonder what he's going to stride into. Well, being I'm out of universes... Hmm. Choosing. It, it's just, yeah, choosing. Yeah, let's see. If it were me, I would stride into Nebula Dragon, Big Crunch Dragon. But I can also kind of see, see you striding into one of the Messiahs. Say, have you ever seen people that run Starvader Messiahs? Yeah. Yeah, those those are interesting. Not my preferred build, but they're still interesting. I'm going to stride Genesis Dragon Flagette Messiah. Flagiolet I can't say these names. Neither can I. <clears throat> so to start off. I'm going to activate its skill, Counterblast 1. Oh, wait, no, that's when I attack. So never mind. Um, so, yeah, it's on attack, you're right. So, instead, I'm going to call a Starvader. Uh, I can activate its skill, put the suit to the top of my deck. If you have a Vanguard with Starvader in its name, since it contains the name, it has Starvader. Um, I choose... If, and if you have a lock card, I choose one of your rear guards in the back row and I lock it. So lock. And I wonder which one it'll be. And then I shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay, let's see what happens this turn. I'm at and three damage. Shockwave. So, entering the battle phase because I keep forgetting that side counter thing. It happens. Yes, we're going to add the 2,000 plus the 7,000 to your Vanguard for 18. <coughs> uh, no. Okay. My Vanguard will swing. Skill, Counterblast 1. Uh, I turn a copy of it face up in the G-Zone. So, where's my other flag at? There you are. Uh... If I pay the cost, you may choose up to two lock cards for each card face up in your G zone with flag in its name. Uh, and then I unlock them if the number of units unlocked is one or more. I choose uh, any number of lock cards in your in your on your side of the field, and they can't unlock during your next unlock step. Okay. And then if three or more were unlocked, he gets a critical. So I'm going to just unlock my one. Control, alt, oh, don't. No. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, hard fight area. Um, and I'm going to Omega lock your back row. Okay. Um, <coughs> quick question. How come, uh, how come Cold Breath, Cold Death Dragon has 22k? Because I was trying to unlock Chameleon, and it wasn't unlocking. It was giving him power. So oh. I quickly sap that to hand and just play it back on the field so it has its normal power. Okay, there we go. 
So thirty K at your Vanguard. Huh. Oh, I really so wanted to save. Unlocked. I get to unlock one. Uh, I get to counter charge one. I really wanted to save that Silent Tom for later, but I do not want to risk getting critted here. Okay, so triple drive check first. It's a heal trigger. Power to Vanguard. And you and heal. And I heal one. Second okay. check. Say chaos. And third check is a second chaos. Stride for days. <coughs> That or At least on the plus side for me, it means you'll have limited guarding capabilities. But I also get to ride, and you know what riding means? Yeah. I have a new Starvader in Seoul. Yeah, that's true. Uh, cold Breath will attack for and supported by Dark Chameleon at your vanguard. I'll take this one. Okay. I gotta end turn. <laughs> okay, you end your turn then. Does any do you have any skills to activate during your end phase? Um, I don't think so. How do I send flag? Get? Oh, I gotta end turn. Yeah, you have to end, and then it will go automatically. Uh, no, I have no skills to activate at end of turn. Okay, just making sure. Stand and draw. If I had known that I was going to draw that, I wouldn't have dropped Silent Tom. <laughs> that makes me sick. Okay. Wait, Amato let me just lasso. see. Oh, you were saying? I said Amato Lasso. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, let's see. How long has this fight been going on, by the way? Um, My recording says about 53 minutes, but like 10 or 15 of that was just pure talking. Yeah. So it's been going on a while. So... Okay, so I think I'm going to do uh, this guy, Kam Kamu Susano, and I'm oh, going to... this. the new one? This, uh, this is the one where he Persona Blasts, and then... Um, and... Uh, oh, yeah, I know this. I have a couple copies of them. Oh, yeah, you do? Oh, yeah. cool. <coughs> Let's see... I'm going to call, do I want to, no, I'm not going to call, actually. So, close that. I'm going to activate his skill. Hey, by the way. Yeah? You're at generation break eight right now. Oh, really? Oh, God, I am. Yeah, well, seven really, but still, when as soon as you stride on your next turn, you'll be you'll be at GB eight. So, ha ha! This has all been a ploy. We know what the GB eight skill is, and we're not going to tell you. Yeah, we we have early access to GB eight. Speaking of generation breaks, I'm gonna activate his GB three skill and give all my units two K. I just realized every G unit I run has a pers has a persona flip of something. Yeah, in Star Star Vaders, you're gonna run a lot of persona blasts. I think I only have like one or two units that don't in my deck. Oh, you have my card highlight. Oh, you're attacking. Yeah, I'm attacking now. Oh. I was trying to catch you off guard. <laughs> uh, no, no. It's like oh, uh, no, no guard. Um, drop a heal trigger from hand. Two. Let's see, I know two of your cards are grade, are grade three, so I know that... Fuck, I should have been running more of him. I mean, darn. Keep it PG, then. You gotta keep it PG there. Oh, that's right. You don't that's want the YouTube ban hammer coming down on you. I just realized something funny. If I G-guard with him, I can technically remove the Omegla lock from your cards. Yes, do that. I remove the Omegla lock, okay? They don't unlock, uh, cause, uh, what's his name from the anime did something similar. Uh, Ibuki? Oh, oh so yeah, they don't no. unlock? They just... 
are not. No, they actually unlocked. No, I was wrong. Sorry, because then Alfred's shield doesn't work properly. That's okay. So he gets 10k shield on top okay. of his 15, right? Yeah, he's so 15. 25. So you're at 36k right 25. now. 25. I'll activate my Starvader skill from the back row. <laughs> By counterblasting one, I send it to Soul. I lock the unit behind your Vanguard. And then I'll activate my Vanguard skill because it's non restrictive of a Soul Blast of one, Starvader. I retire the other unit that unlocked. Wait a minute. Uh, let me just check. It says oh, wait, during the end phase. phase. Yep. My bad, was, sorry. No, it's okay. I get excited. No, it's okay. I do the same. I do the exact same thing, man. No worries. So 36, that's two to pass. <clears throat> um, and Cold Breath will intercept for an additional 5k. So let's see. That's 41. That's so let's see. 41 uh, would mean... Three to pass. Three to pass. I do not think I'm going to get that three, so I'm just going to give all effects to my rear guard. Good thing I did. Whew. <laughs> Boy, good, good thing you guarded that, I mean. Yep. Could you imagine being double critted now? I very well can, because I believe I'm actually out of heal triggers. Oh, thanks for telling me that. I swing, and this guy gets another 3k since. Well, I, th I believe it's public knowledge in my entire drop zone. How many? Oh, really? Do Let's see. One, one. I got one in my drop zone, and one in my... Oh, okay, never mind. I have two. Three. Yeah, you still have one more heal trigger in your deck. So, 24 to Chaos Breaker. Yeah, who am I kidding? I'm gonna G guard that. Well, you kind of have to. I mean, he is at three crit right now. And don't matter if I unlock or not. So it's just gonna be a vanilla G guard. So let's see, fifteen K. It's twenty six to your twenty four. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought if I, I'm, I'm kind of regretting not calling. Um, Lozenge Magus to the back row there. Yeah. I, I just wanted to save it to G-Guard in case you um, do some shenanigans against me. <clears throat> oh, do I get to unlock now? Yes, you do. And, and you... Retiring. Let's see, do you have... Yeah, you do have the soul for it. Because I sent the uh, shockwave to the uh, soul. Let's see. So I retired that. I'm just going to check here. One... Two, I'm trying to see how many shock waves you have left. I counted two. Sure. Trying to try to figure out my deck. Yeah, your Starvader deck is different from mine. Mine is like mine is like more more pure Starvader with, like, a couple non-Starvaders here and there. Well, I don't know what... I mean, I guess there's a couple Starvader strides. There are... You mean strides, you said? Yeah, strides. Well, there are, but most of them... Who am I kidding? All of them are heart-restricted. Like, there's Chaos Universe, which is restricted to Chaos Breaker or Chaos Bringer. There's... There's Quintessence Dragon, which is restricted to Infinite Zero Distarv and Infinite Zero Dragon. And then there's Glendios, which is restricted to Glendios. And that's yeah. it. So. And I think I've hit a wall with my build right now. So I'm going to start off my turn by riding. Okay. And I'm going to stride. I... You've hit a wall, you say? Yes, I've hit a wall. That's good for me. All it, Now all it hinges on is, will I be able to guard this? Stride. 
I can't activate skills because I got no counter blast. <laughs> now it's just a vanilla stride, pretty much. That's okay. I'm at GB what eight now? One, two, three, oh, four, so five, fast. six, seven, eight, nine. You're at you're at GB ten right now. Um Damn, why do you have to be counter blast and not a soul blast? Okay, so you're going for that play right there. I'll just leave that in hand. <clears throat> so, up, uh, ride phase, main phase, battle phase. So, Chameleon will support and attack your vanguard. Huh. And your uh, rear guard has a lot of power for some apparent reason. Oh, I forgot to... Um, thank you for showing me that. Uh, let's see... I'm going to say no to that attack. Okay. Vanguard will swing at your Vanguard. Gosh. Um. Take it? Nope. Generation God! Let's see. And since the number of cards in my hand is four... <coughs> My vanguard gets a 20,000 shield, and I am still kind of Indeed, wary so about this, so I'm going to G-guard a... Oh, wait, that would undo... That would, yeah, it would remove the 5k. But it'll put another 15k on, so... So you get a 30k shield instead of a 35, uh, 45. Yeah. So let's see, that's... Uh, three to pass. Three to pass. Let's see it. Triple drive check first. Critical trigger. I don't like uh, this. The odds are favorably high. I'll give the critical to my rear guard and the power to my vanguard. The second check reveals no trigger. Third check Thank reveals goodness. no trigger. Okay. And I swing at your vanguard for 18. 18. Let me just undo that power really <laughs> quickly so I don't confuse anyone. Let's see. 18. That means I only need 10k to guard this. Uh, that is true. And I okay. Whew, hanging on by the skin of my teeth. But can you make it through? Can you, can you do the damage needed for next turn? We'll see about that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to stride the generation here. Huh, how much... I was actually about to... Actually, I can check myself. What am I doing? One, two, three, four... Wait, what am I doing? One, counting your perfect guards right now. Have you... Okay, two. Wow, you've only gone through two of your perfect guards this game. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to risk it this time. This might... This might come back to bite me, but I, I'm i running out of options here, and I'm willing to just take a risk here. How many cards do you have face up in your G-Zone? Uh, I'm about to count. Let's Nine. see. Nine, ow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Nine. So let's see, 9 times 5, that's 45. Yep. When it attacks. <clears throat> when, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, when it attacks. Which is going to be right now. And does that do anything special? Nope. <sighs> no god! Really? 
Okay, let's pray that I don't pull any crits. Oh. Power to my rear go rear guard, crit to vanguard. Oh. Power to rear guard, crit to vanguard. Oh. Power <laughs> to rear guard, That's crit to vanguard. End this. First. One. That Third. those kills, man. <laughs> Fourth. Uh, I can't. They <laughs> don't allow me to do any more power to man. Uh, uh, I don't oh, think fuck. even if I tried. Oh. I have a heal trigger left in deck. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, there's my perfect guard. There's my other critical. There's my other perfect guard. Oh, I'm. And I think I eventually had enough to stop the attack. Yeah, you. You eventually you did. I. I eventually. Uh, get in the guard circle, you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> uh, there. I it. have enough. <laughs> I have enough. Oh. GG, man. GG. Okay, so, guys, that was the first card fight. I got demolished, as you can tell by the um, current setup of the game. Um, it took literally everything I had to lose. But, <clears throat> if you guys want to see the next video, I think it's what? You're going to use Chaos next? Yes, I'm going to use Chaos on, on my uh, for, for my video. So, link, link to his channel, his in, channel description in description below. below. If you guys like, you guys this, like this, leave a like. Let me know you want, you want to see more, because I think we're going to play more just for fun. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm having way too much fun with this. Like, like, this is going to be... I, I was I, playing Kerbal Space, Space Program, Program for fun. For fun. This, is this is going to become, become fun now. But, guys, if everything has gone right, then you'll see this video. If it hasn't... Well, well, we'll figure, we'll figure something, something else out with them. Because <laughs> confusing, confusing programs. programs. You guys have fun. See you all, See later. You all later. Until, Until next, time. next time. Peace. Peace.